Greetings, saints, and grace to you from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Billy D. Welcome to today's Moments in Ministry. In the book of Isaiah, in the 40th chapter, in the 5th verse, it says, And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. Whose side are you on? We anticipate the happy day when every knee will bow before Christ, when the gods of the heathen shall be cast to the moles and the bats, when empty religion will be exploded and the crescent of Muhammad will topple, never again to cast its harmful rays upon the nations, when kings shall worship before the prince of peace and all nations shall call the redeemer blessed. Some despair of this. They look on the world as a ship breaking up and going into pieces, never to float again. We know that the world and all that is in it one day will be burned up, and afterwards we look for the new heavens and for the new earth. But we cannot read our Bibles without the conviction that Jesus shall reign where'er the sun doth his successive journey run. We are not discouraged by the length of his delays. We are not disheartened by the long period that he assigns to the church in which to struggle a little success and much defeat. We believe that God will never tolerate this world, which has once seen Christ's blood shed upon it, remaining as the devil's stronghold. Christ came here to deliver this world from the detested sway of the powers of darkness. What a shout that will be when men and angels unite to cry, Hallelujah, for the Lord our God Almighty reigns. What a satisfaction it will be in that day to have had a part in the fight, to have helped to break the arrows of the bow, and to have shared in winning the victory for our Lord. Happy are those who entrust themselves to this conquering Lord, and who fight side by side with him, doing their part in his name and by his strength. How unhappy are those on the side of the devil. It is a losing side, and it is a matter in which to lose is to lose and be lost forever. On whose side are you on? Let us pray. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So until we come this way again, may God bless you and keep you is my prayer.